Hey everyone, okay, um, video number three or whatever. I guess you don't have to really watch these in order, but okay, this is just the order I'm re making them. Okay, so next I'm gonna talk a little bit more about creating an, um, a post from scratch. Because um, there's a couple things, you know, in like uploading photos um, and that stuff. So, all right, so we already went over like what an article looks like when it's already been published, but let's go and add a new one. Over here on the left hand side, right underneath the post, which is the listing of the posts that have already been posted, <laughs> and right is here is the add new button. So I'm going to click on that. And it is going to bring up a very familiar window. It is the edit post window or add new post window. Same thing. Um, so here you go. You enter the title here. So this is the title. I can't type when I am talking. Um, here's my main body area. Let me just um, let me just grab some uh, placeholder text really quick because I am very much not okay with um, typing and talking at the same time. So I'm just gonna grab, that's good, okay. Put that in there. Um, and again, I'm using the um, HTML version, um, the version, um, HTML view of this edit window. Um, it's really not much difference from the visual. It's just personal preference. I like this because it's nice and clean. Um, all right, so there we go. I'm gonna grab a little of this and say this is my my really awesome intro paragraph. Is about there. It's you know what three three lines, three four lines. Let's actually grab even less than that. Let's grab about that. And we'll add that to the excerpt. So I'm just um, copying and pasting stuff in here. So um, the excerpt will not allow you to put in images or links, but it will notice paragraphs. Just put in uh, two returns um, and you can create a new paragraph in the intro. So like, um, I don't, do I have an example up here? Um, yes, I do. I think it's in this one. Um, yeah, so here, like I just put that in there and then I had two returns and there was that little line there. Okay, so that's how that is done. Um, if I forget to put on a category, it'll automatically default to just article. Um, I would recommend, we can add more categories um, as we start meeting and talking about kind of hopes and dreams of the website. Um, but for now, this is what we have. And so I'm just going to say this is, I don't know, this is a story. And um, I'm going to add a tag of testing. And I can add a bunch more. They're just comma separated. Um, and if I start typing in something that's already been there, so Tracy, yeah, it's not, a, okay, there it is. So, and it, gives you suggestions and, and you just hit the add button and it'll show up there. If you want to delete a tag, just hit the little X right next to it and that'll delete that. Um, you can also look through the most used tags. There's not a lot of tags in there yet. Keep these um, as you can do something that, um, like if you're blogging about a particular organization or a cause, make sure you put those kind of keywords in here. Um, yeah, uh, you can be as specific as you want. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Um, the thing categories you will never use or you probably won't use is the intro paragraph and the get involved um, because both of these actually have something to do with the website uh, on the home page. Um, the get involved area is this little rotating um, get involved red box call to action area and the intro paragraph is this. So, so for those, this will show the latest four um, quote unquote get, unvo get involved um, call to actions and then this one will just show the latest one and this should probably remain this, you know, what it is. I mean, we can always just go and edit that. So don't worry about those two is what I'm trying to say. Um, okay, so now featured image. Let's add a featured image. 
Uh, I'm just going to click on this set featured image link here on the right hand side and it's going to bring up a, a little dialog box and it'll ask me if I want to upload photos from my computer, if I have a URL um, and want to add an image from that, or if I want to add an image that's already been uploaded. Um, all of them are pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you are adding files from your computer, you just hit the select files and and then basically you can select as many as you want and upload them. Um, since I am currently uploading a YouTube video from one of my previous um, things, um, instruction videos, I'm going to actually go with something that's already in the media library or else it will take forever. So I uploaded this one as a test from a, a while ago. This is my cat. So I'm going to click on that show. Um, when you upload a video or sorry, upload an image, it will go through its uploading and then it creates the sizes. It creates a thumbnail size, a medium size, a large size, and then it keeps a full size. Um, so you can upload images, you know, large images right off your camera. We don't want to be doing too much of that because, you know, we don't want to be using up too much server space because when we use up a lot of server space, then it usually slows down the website. Um, so if we can keep them somewhat small, you can always go and edit an image. So if you upload a really, really large image, um, which I do every so often, that's, you know, I'm just lazy or something. Um, so I upload a very large image and I can just go and click on this edit image. This gives us your basic edit editing tools. You can crop it by, you know, like grabbing an area and then hitting the crop button. Um, or I can, um, I got it. Um, rotate it or flip it, you know, or do that kind of stuff. Um, and you can also do a scale image. So you can take it down. So I could say 1500. Um, that's well large enough for the web. Um, even for large screens like mine, it still almost fills it completely. So that is perfectly fine. I'll hit save. There you go. So now if you, now after I save this, um, or it did save, okay. Um, well, once it refreshes, I guess, um, then you'll see that full size had changed. Um, for the thumbnail or the featured image, actually, you don't even have to worry about any of this stuff. Um, this, a lot of this is for when you want to add an image into a post. So if you have like a long, um, a long entry or something, um, and you want to add some small images, I would go and either add a thumbnail, um, at most the medium, um, but any of these by putting them in the design, it's going to be too big and it's going to look weird. Um, you can do like floating left, floating right, which I would re recommend floating left because there's already something floating to the right. Um, uh, the uh, this thumbnail image over here it's over on the right hand side so you have a limited amount of space so this is an image that I uploaded and added and I floated it to the left and then the text wraps around the right side see how that goes isn't that nice okay um, but for the featured image for that large image all you have to do is click on this use as featured image you don't have to worry about any of these other settings the title and the alternative text um, I still might put in the alt text, uh, mo the cat. This is basically for screen readers and um, search re search engines because they can't see photos. Um, so it's a good practice to get into to keep putting some um, alt text in there so that um, the website is accessible for all people. All right, so I'm just going to click on this uses featured image. It saves it. You can see it pop up right over here on the right. Um, and that's it. Um, it automatically does all the resizing and cropping and stuff to make it into all the different sizes. I'm going to say this photo was by me because it is and it's Creative Commons so I don't have to write anything in here. Um, if it were a copyrighted image or if I wanted to keep it as a copyright then I would type in yes here um, just as per the instructions um, and then that will change the um, uh, the little uh, the credit that it'll say copyright as opposed to Creative Commons. I'm going to keep it as Creative Commons. Um, 
and then I want to add some like related links over here on the right hand side to this new post so I'm just going to say um, uh, find Mo on the web and then I'm going to put in my HTTP colon slash slash Mo the cat dot com and she's looking at me because I'm saying her name okay so there you go that's her website and I'll say Mo the cat's website and that actually is her website <laughs> okay um so yeah so there we go I've got those things in I've got all of the the primary things that I really need in here um gonna double check make sure I get everything um if I wanted, if I was waiting and or you know wasn't finished with it, I can always go and save as draft. If I want to preview and see how it's going to look, I can hit the preview button and it'll show me in the template and this is how it's going to look. So you can kind of take a look and see. Okay, there's my my intro paragraph. That looks good. Okay, um, so you know go preview it. Um, then it's only that you can see it. It's not public on the web uh, for for everyone else on the display side. Uh, when you're finished with this, all we hit is the publish. And now if we go to our website here, here it is. This is the title. That is a really great title. And so there it is. It's it's public. And so there's my, my photo credit here at the bottom, my thumbnail image. Um, and I have my related links on the right-hand side. Um, now one thing that would be different, um, let me go back here and I'm going to just delete this. So if I say, okay, I, I didn't want to actually post that or something, I can, I can trash it. Or there's another way if, um, I wanted to save it, um, but not keep it, keep it not public. I can change this status here by clicking on the quick edit, um, or the full edit. This is also available there and I can select... Um, draft. Um, when I put it on draft and I hit update, it will no longer be public on the site, but it's still here in the back end so that I can come back and edit it later. And if I wanted to, you know, make changes, I can go edit or I can do a quick edit and, and publish it again. Um, one, uh, new, one, one thing that's a little bit different, um, when I'm doing video, the, 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 um, the video needs to go in this main area. So if I go into YouTube um, and grab, uh, just let me just grab a, a video here quick. Uh, I can just grab any um, embed code. Uh, so let me find, they moved everything around and now I don't know where anything is. I'm, okay, so I'll get the embed code. The the size we want here is a custom. We want 570 width. And it'll automatically generate this code in these dimensions. And I just select that. And I paste that right in here. It's best if you use actually paste this in the HTML view, because otherwise it's going to do weird, funky things. So just keep it in the HTML view for if you're doing any video embeds. Um, putting in a title, awesome video. Select the video category. This is important. Select the video category, um, and you still need an excerpt. So I'll grab some awesome excerpt text here. Um, add any tags. Um, you'll still need a featured image. Um, what I usually do, um, I just kind of take a screenshot of the video itself. Um, I, don't, I don't know, whatever. Let's grab this, and I'm just going to grab a, a screenshot quick. So I'm like, grabbing an image. Okay. And so there it is on my desk. It's on my desktop now. And um, I can uh, upload that image. Select files. It is on my desktop. That's the really awesome image there. Okay. It uploads it, crunches it into all the different sizes you need. 
and then I hit use as featured image. Again, I can add alt text. I'm not going to do that right now for time's sake. And that is it. I can publish it, save it as a draft, or preview it um, just like the other uh, thing. It'll open up in this same window over here. So. so that is it. You won't see the thumbnail on the video page, but you will on the listing pages. So like when you, there's like the all articles, um, it will. The, that's what the thumbnail is for. It'll show up right on here. So there, there you go. That's um, how to create a post and create a video post.